What's up guys, Cole Reefin here coming at you with another video. Actually today I will be updating you guys on the calc washer setup on the 80 gallon. So let's get into it. Alright guys, I wanted to show you the uh, new purple firefish here. guys are looking awesome. The tank is doing good. The tank is clean! Give you guys an update on the Kalkwasser setup and kind of what's been going on with that. As you guys know from my last Kalkwasser video, it wasn't going so great, right? I think I was just dosing way too much and calcium ended up being like over 800. So... That was obviously bad, and um, I fixed it. I found out the hard way, and I think that's what a lot of us in this hobby actually do, is just find out the hard way. Yeah, you read a bunch of articles, but you wanna try your own thing, and people mess up. I messed up, I'll admit it. You know, we're not all perfect. I have toned it way down. I am now doing 600 milliliters, I think it goes down to 50 milliliters every two hours, which isn't a lot and it's definitely not helping my evaporation um, consumption in the tank, but it's all right. I mean, the tank is looking great. Corals are all doing fairly well. Um, let me see if I can show you guys here this guy. It started off as one, and now it's just turned into like three almost. It's just splitting. My little mushroom garden is doing good. I do have a fox coral and a, like a little hairy mushroom in there in the back. That's what she said. It's doing great. These corals over here on this side are doing really good. And the fish, I still have seven. So, seven clownfish, two purple firefish, and then my marine beta over there in the back. Let's see if we could zoom into this guy. Yeah, it's like my favorite fish, probably in the tank to be honest. I just love those guys. So peaceful, they keep to themselves, and they come out from time to time. I actually fed today, and the marine beta almost, almost ate out of the tongs that I feed with. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll get to feed him by hand one day. You never know. That'll be pretty cool though, if it gets to that point. Um, I haven't been able to capture any small anemones as of yet to put them in the little box over here on this left hand side, but that'll come with time. I just need to catch one that's kind of cruising around or, you know, way too small. Um, this rock that I am using does have a bunch of crevices, so if I do find one, um, I would like for it to be on the move because uh, as soon as you try to pick any of these out from where they're at now, they just dig their foot deeper into the crevice that they're in and it's almost impossible to take them out and I really don't want to kill any anemones in the tank so I'll just wait till some crawl about um, I have seen some on the back glass on this back right corner but all these anemones are looking great guys you know I was going for a clownfish harem like and just straight up anemone tank but I really do like the other colors that these other corals bring in. So I might bring in onesies and twosies here that I can keep off of the main rock structure so that the anemones don't crawl around them and or on them. Yeah, maybe you guys will see more corals in the near future of other colors in the tank. But as of now, it's, it's just cruising along. The new AI blade that I added, the blue, um, fits perfectly, like I said, between those two XR-15s, and 
the anemones here in the center are probably getting the most are getting hit with the most light that this is actually producing and i forgot what i have it set at but i don't know guys these guys are happy they are bubbling up and everything is just looking great even this monty back here that's getting i don't know if it's getting stung by the anemone but it's not dying at all like they touch all the time and it's not dying at all i do want to find a better spot for it but as of right now i really can't I don't want to move it to the sand bed, but yeah, guys, these guys are freaking awesome. Love these purple firefish. I think they're way cooler than your regular red firefish. They just have so many more colors and yeah, just love those guys. That's the update on the Kalkwasser setup. Not doing a bunch of Kalkwasser anymore. 50 milliliters every two hours. Calcium alkalinity are doing good. I think I got calcium down to like 500, which is way better than 800. I do want to drop it down a little bit, down to like the 450 range, obviously, and alkalinity sitting at like 7.5. So not that bad. And yeah, guys. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Let me know if you guys have any questions. All right, guys, co-reefing, out.